Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss the remaining 19 tools of the extension 1001 bit tools. If you are new to the channel, then you can watch the previous 20 tools video by clicking on the i button on the right side. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. Let's just start with the first extension of the day and which I can say which is the most useful extension in the 1001 bit tool which is making horizontal grooves. So what it helps in, uh, so we have already made a wall using the 1001 bit tool. If you don't know how to make that then you can watch our previous video. We have attached the link in the description also. So how you can use this particular tool is you first need to enter the group and select the walls where you need the grooves. After then click on the hori create horizontal groove lines. Click on this. If you always get this gray box in the dialog box so don't worry you select this dialog box bring it down and then bring it up you will get the display back so in this you can you can see we ha we can alter the dimensions we can alter the height we can alter the depth we can al alter the gro groove spacing so let's just keep it the way it is and just click on create grooves once we click on create grooves so you can just uh, increase the number of grooves i'll just go with number of grooves be 10 and then create grooves and then you just need to click a start point. So I'll click on there and it has automatically made all the grooves. So no, we don't need any soften edges. We click on no. And when you zoom in, you can see it has already made some grooves for us. So it's a pretty useful extension and it saves a lot of time. Let's just move further. Now in the next tool we have is uh, we can build single flight staircase. And we can click on this again, the gray corner, bring it down, bring it up. You will get the screen back. So in this staircase type, you get all of these four types, type A, type B, type C with metal type kind of thing, type D with some sort of different. See, each and every type has different sort of design language. And then you can always change the step width. Uh, once you click on any of the number, it will automatically show you the graphics it is related to. See, you have this A here, you, it is graphically representing what is the dimension you need to alter. So again, we are keeping it everything the same and click on build staircase. You just need to click once and then you just need to give the angle where you need it. So we can have it in this direction and click outside. As you can see, we have that particular staircase. We are not having a railing. We are just having the handrails guidelines for this. You just need to model the uh, handrails by yourself not only the straight staircase we also have a chance to make dog leg staircase using this extension again you can uh, sorry this you can click on this again you have two two option either to start from left to right or right to left again you can change the flight width you can change the thread depth if i can say d which is our gap in between let's say we'll keep it around 200 and then Let's just keep everything the same and click on build staircase. Select a starting point and then give a direction to your staircase. Click once and there you go. You have your staircase, a dog leg staircase. Along with all this, we have a metal and timber staircase design also. So if, uh, in this, you can see we have metal and timber dog leg staircase. Click on this. Yeah. So in this, uh, again, you have two options, left to right and right to left. The staircase has a metal and timber sort of design. Again, you can change anything. Let's change the flight depth to, you can say 1500. And uh, let's keep everything the same. You can have an option of steel, rectangular section. As you can see, we have rectangular section over here. If you go with steel I section or C section, we can go with here. Once you're done with the values, simply click on build staircase. Again, the procedure remains the same. Click a start point and then a direction to your staircase. And there you go. So it saves pretty much time to build the staircase. But not only this, it also gives you an advantage to build your circular staircase or you can say spiral staircase. Over here, we have this option of building standard spiral staircase. We click on this and here's a diagram. Again, it has two types, type A and type B. Type B has risers in between and type A doesn't have risers in between. Again, you can change the step width, step angle. Once you click on any of the icons, you will always get the graphics according to which you can change and make alterations. 
so let's just keep everything the same again click on build staircase select a point and there you go now circular staircase or you can say the spiral staircase take a bit longer time than the rectangular or the dog like staircase yeah and there you go so here you get without riser spiral staircase and the very beautiful thing is how the handrail and the you know railing is working along it doesn't have any vertical support so you need to have to alter the vertical supports in the model by yourself so this was all about how you can make stairs using all of these now the another tool which i personally never ever used but you can say it has that ability to make escalators again the escalator width we just keep it 2000 and the width of the thickness of the side panel now you can see the b here is the b i'll just simply click on 25 so i'll just keep it by 4500 and just simply click on create escalators once you're done you just need to have singly select single point and then uh, select a point in vertical direction so yeah you always need to give the direction accordingly we are just doing it random so it's coming this way so as you can see it has modeled the staircase and the side rails accordingly and you can you know come inside and give any particular material to anything and the best thing is that it always make anything which is in a component or in a group see the handrails are in a different group the glass rail the glass of the sides are in the different groups again and the staircase are in a different group now for the another example we just need to build a wall and to create some small openings let's just create an opening of 1500 and the height as 1600 let's keep it this way only and right away or you come inside you can always you know make anything random let's just make two of three and three okay and add a rectangular surface over the opening i'll just explain you why we are doing this yeah now the another tool helps you make the outer boundary for your windows and doors or you can say the outer wind outer frame for your windows and doors so for that you just need to go to the create window frames click on that and you all you have this rectangular frame option rectangular frame with beveled edges rectangular frame with recessed edges and many more so you can again change the depth change the recessed angle i'll just simply go with the rectangular frame and just keep everything same but change the window frame location in middle and then create window frame now there are two scenarios if you click on the wall it will fail making the window because we don't have any opening in this so we'll go back and select the tool again again click on create window frame and then where we have the opening and where we have a surface over it we can click on this and it will make a frame similarly you have the tool for the doors also to make create doors frame click on this the procedure remains the same you have three different things let's go with the beveled edges and go with the back and create on create door frames click on this and click on this now as you can see here we got the frame with the same level of the wall but here the frame is coming out now why because in this in this particular situation we have selected placing the frame in middle situation and here we selected to place the frame in back location so that's the difference between this you can select accordingly now not only this you can also make window frames with divisions with multiple divisions so for that you just need to go to the another tool which is divide selected face into panels click on this and again go down go up and again this is the graphical representation of what you can get at the end and here are some graphical representations of what you can change the value for depth we just need a 230 or you can say just 115 frame width try to keep it as low because it, it always give you a double frame so if you need a thickness of 50 then you should give a frame width of 25 and then again we are going to make it in a back side and create window frame click on this so this is a way and you can always come inside it will always and it will always create a face for your windows and you can always come and you know give specific colors now coming on the very next tool which helps you create custom jallies or you can say custom grills for your modeling bar 
And for that, you just need to come on this tool which says create grills, gratings or perforated screens. So you click on this, you get this very nice gra graphical representations of some pre-made screens, you can say. And for the timing, let's just keep everything the same and go to create, create scenes. Click on this icon. It will give you this blue marker which says to select a particular phase where you need your screen. So we'll select the very first one and click on this. It will take a bit of time and see. Right now we have just we haven't changed any value so it has created the custom or you can say the pre-built Charlie or the screen which was given in the command. So let's just come back and click on the tool again and just change the opening width to you can say 150. Let's just change to 150 and the opening height to 300 and reduce the column spacing as 50. You can always refer these short graphical representation to better understand the value you need to change again row spacing as 50 uh, the thickness i'm good with the thickness and let's just keep it at the location of back and click on create screens now once you click on this it will take a bit of time and there you go a really nice screen within a single click now not just this you can again come back we have a lot of option in this you can change the value to 600 say and 600 let's just reduce the spacing or you can say increase the spacing as 100 and click on create screens so that this was all about like how, how you can make some rectangular shape uh, screens using the tool not only this it also helps you to make custom screens so how you can do that simply go into tool and again have the specific value you need or don't because we are making some custom jali in which we have already made the profile over here so what you can do is you simply click on setup profile see once i'm coming on this it is showing me the graphical representation that how it works so i'll click on the setup profile now it is showing me this red marker which says to select a face so i'll select the profile not the face sorry it says to spe uh, specify the face or you can say the custom design so i'll click on this and then giving me a blue dot which says to select a face where you need to get the design so i'll click on this and it will take a bit of time and there you go you can see how easily you got the custom design of your screen with just a single profile not just this you can always use any kind of shape i'm just giving the example again click on the tool go to set a profile select the face and then sorry select the profile and then select the face and there you go so this was how you can alter the screening design or you can say make your custom screen designs okay let's just move further now uh, for another example we just make another screen and let's just copy it this also is a tool which i use more frequently and this particular tool helps you to build horizontal as well as vertical lures. So for that, you just need to select the surface, click on or create horizontal lures. Select this, you get a graphical representation of how you are going to get the design. And again, you can change the value of having the depth, having the lower thickness, lower spacing. Let's just keep it 150 and lower angles. We are good with the lowest angles and lower location as back. So click on create lures and there you go again you can come back select this particular thing go to this you can change the angle let's just keep the angle as 60 spacing as 450 and with middle create lures as you can see now it has changed the angle and it has selected the location as middle for vertical lures the process remains the same you just need to select the surface and the next tool is all about creating vertical lures so click on this we are not going to change the value just keep it the same and click just select the location as middle and click on create lures and boom there you go you can always change the spacing the angle as per your design so for the another tool we have this we have the surface with some irregular shapes and this particular tool helps you to create the boundaries or you can say some rectangular boundaries or the circular boundaries so for the working of the next tool you just need to select each and everything and then go to this tool which says create rectangular grills once you click on this it will ask you a width of the rectangular section now what it is particularly doing is it is changing these lines into rectangular frames 
so let's just keep everything the same and height of the rectangular frame as also 50 and click on ok and you can see you can always delete the inner surface and you have a boundary or you can say a rectangular form instead of your line again same process you can select this the another tool which helps you to create circular grill for this you need to give a circular diameter suppose we're giving it 200 and click on ok and let's just delete the inner surface and there you go a very easy and simple method to just get the circular or the rectangular frame for any custom design so let's just move further with another tool which helps you make rafters now you can use that particular thing in various forms so let's just click on the surface and you have this third last tool which says this create rafters or joints so click on this so again a very nice repre graphical representation to explain each and everything you can change the rafter width depth and spacing i'm not changing e anything right now we are simply just clicking on create rafters and now what it is asking it is basically asking me to give a particular direction to rafters right now i'm just uh, using it from diagonally we'll just go uh, give it a direct diagonal direction it will place my rafters in a diagonal representation again you can come back select this particular surface click on this click create rafters and give it a vertical direction again click on this click create rafters i'll just simply get direction from this end to this end now you can see carefully it has stopped the rafter at this particular joint now the very beautiful and the good thing is you can select this and create another rafters you will not you not need to spend coming back to the component and deleting to make the joint look perfect it has already done that work for you which is a really nice thing which this particular extension is doing now not only this rafters but this another example helps you to make rafters with battens so for that you just need to select all the surface and click on this raft automatically create rafters and battens plugins click on this so again a graphical nice representation change the value as per your design and click on create rafters and batten purlins click on this it will take a bit of time you can see right now we are not having any regular surface so it has you know mismatch each and everything if you are working with a regular surface it will not give you this kind of thing you can always come in the group you can delete whatever you need if you don't need this side you can delete it you can keep at the very rest of the time now not only this if you need to make some slope roof with just with the base you can also do that with the very last extension which says automatically create hip roof so i'll click on this and i'll just specify a value let's just say i'll give 35 and the roof overhang which means how much the roof is coming out let's just say uh, keep it 1000 mm and click on create hip roof okay for that we just need to select the surface click on create hip roof and create hip roof as you can see how nicely with a single click has has created a single roof not only this you can also make a very complex roof with just a plan you, you need to select the surface again click on the hip roof now uh, let's just change the value as 20 and roof overhang as 450 and click on create hip roof and there you go and if you have any questions about the process please leave them in the comment below and we will do our best to answer them that's all for today please let us know if you enjoyed the video leave a comment if you learned something new and subscribe if you are new to the channel